Hello. Uh, I'm super excited about this opportunity to present you the technology we are building at Protocol Lab to bring more people to participate in the Filecoin economy. And as I've been mentioned earlier today, we are facing a, an, an adoption chasm. We need to build new products in Web3 space that can reach hundreds of millions of users in a similar way how Web2 products are working today. And I think this is just the first step. The second step is kind of upgrading all of these people who are just consuming Web3 technology and allow them to actively participate in the Web3 economy. And the opportunity here is tremendous. If you think about the current computing landscape as it is today, AWS has around 300 million servers in their data centers. And that's what the Web2 tech stack is running on. Now, if you take a look at the number of Raspberry Pis that have been sold in the last year alone, that's 10 times more computers running somewhere out there. And that's still a very small amount compared to the number of all PCs sold in the last year, which gets us to hundreds of millions of computers. And many of these computers are not fully utilized to their full potential, right? A typical PC user is using their computer, their CPU, only at 5 to 20 percent, maybe. And even, even power users like developers, content creators, video editors, they are not cranking their CPU at 100 percent all the time. So there is plenty of CPU power which we can leverage. And similarly, the network utilization is not at 100 percent. Uh, the estimate is that at least half of our internet connection bandwidth in households is unused. Just they're waiting to be leveraged. And now the question is, how can we leverage? How can we put all of these idle resource, resources to work for us? And our answer to this question is Filecoin Station. Oh, sorry for that emoji. The upper row is a space station. So our vision for the Filecoin station is to build a desktop application which anybody can, can use, can run. It's super easy to install and operate. And the application will connect your spare computer resources like CPU, disk storage, your network connection, and contribute it to the Filecoin network. And in return, you will earn some Filecoin. Technically, this means we need to run untrusted code code that anybody can write, like JavaScript running on websites, on computers that are operated by people we don't necessarily trust, like good people are running just their computers, or maybe some hackers trying to hack our network. And finally, we want to pay for the jobs they process for us. And we have big dreams. This can unlock so many awesome opportunities for us. For example, we can enable scientists to run distributed comp computations on the fleet of stations installed worldwide. We can pay BitTorrent-like nodes to serve content and accelerate content retrieval from Filecoin, IPFS, or other networks. And this is what we are building uh, in Saturn, which has been publicly launched last week in, on Thursday. The fleet of stations can also check the network quality of a decentralized network, for example, whether the nodes are on, uh, well, sorry, whether the nodes are up, whether they, they are behaving as they are supposed to. And we can also do real-world network performance monitoring to see how our decentralized network is behaving when it's accessed from real computers in real home networks behind real firewalls. So what's the current status? We are in alpha. We have the first version of the app available for download. You can use the QR code to get it from GitHub releases. We have the first module, which is called Saturn module, already included in the station. So if you install the station now, you will start helping us with, build, with running and operating the Saturn decentralized CDN network. There are no Filecoin earnings yet. We are iterating on the user experience. And uh, what's more important, we are looking for new ideas, what kind of modules we can add to the station. So if you think about the station as a deployment target, then we would like to learn about what people might want to run in such deployments. The next big milestone for us is a 
beta release where we want to add a build coin, sorry, a built in Filecoin wallet to make it even more easy for an average user to join the Filecoin economy without having to understand how to create a Filecoin address. The Saturn module will be connected to the mainnet, serving real content for real users, and there will be Filecoin earnings paid out for contributing your bandwidth and storage. We would like to get this released in March next year. And technically, under the hood, a station is built on a modular architecture. You can think about the International Space Station that's flying somewhere out in the space. And we are thinking about the station as like the infrastructure to which you attach different modules. So maybe a habitat modules where astronauts are living, or a scientific lab where they perform all the scientific experiments. So right now we have the station part, we have the Saturn module, and we are looking to add more modules to the station. A station component is a lightweight electron-based application which integrates into your operating system so that we can run in the background in a non-obtrusive way. It orchestrates the modules to keep them running, to gather statistics, and then it can also render a UI to get you more insights into what's happening inside your station. Now, what is a module? A module can be almost anything that can run a job, and a job is a very generic term. It can be computation, it can be data retrieval, it can be performing some network testing or benchmarking. It should consume smallish amount of computer resources because if we just overload users' computer, they will shut down station and never start it again. And the module needs to pay out the rewards in Filecoin for people running the jobs for the module. If you want to build a module right now, then it's actually very easy. All we need to get from you is a binary that can run for a long time in background. So we can write it in Go, in Rust. Node.js is probably fine as well. We will give you configuration over environment variables. This is the well-known 12-factor app design pattern. And the communication happens over STD out and HTTP to keep things as simple as possible. The caveat here is that we support only trusted modules right now, which means we can run only modules where we trust the module authors that the module is not going to do anything malicious like stealing your secrets. Which probably makes you ask why this way? Why we cannot run untrusted code? And uh, why we are using Electron instead of Tari? And many more questions. And the reason for that is that we want to ship as quickly as possible. We want to iterate fast. We want to learn from user feedback and adjust our direction based on that. And with that said, we are already researching better ways how to run the modules, how to provide isolation so that we can run untrusted code, and how to limit resource consumption so that the module authors don't need to worry about limiting their usage themselves. And there are different ways how we can approach this. One of them, one of the possibilities is uh, using virtualization like virtual machines or Docker containers. But the trouble with that is that many consumer grade computers don't support virtualization. And even more importantly, Windows Home Edition doesn't provide virtualization APIs at all. So virtualization is out of the game for us. Fortunately, there is a technology called Isolate, which has been pioneered by V8 in the browser, then Cloudflare workers in the cloud. And then it's being used in many other situations. And that's the direction we would like to take. And the idea is to build a station runtime. So it would be like a platform giving you the runtime which can run your maybe web assembly code. It will provide you sandboxing so that your module cannot escape the safe, the safe area. And uh, we, will resource, we will limit resources automatically so that your module doesn't need to worry about this. And then provide you platform APIs, which can start as low-level system APIs for making network calls, talking to the file system. But we can push it one step further and give you a file coin or IPFS or lib2p uh, specialized APIs that makes it even easier for your module to connect to decentralized networks. And then on top of that, you will build your module, focusing only on the business logic of your module, the important part which you want to run. But there is still one big 
area of unknown that we need to solve, and that's how do we schedule jobs? Let's imagine we have a billion stations installed wor worldwide. We reach the Google scale, and now we want to schedule a job to some of the stations. Who and how will do that? How do we prove that the station actually did the job that it promised to do? And then how do we distribute all the payments? So there is plenty of work in front of us. And that's pretty much it. I would like you to download the station app. Let us know what you think. And if you have any ideas for modules that you would like to build and deploy to a decentralized fleet of station running on home computers all around the world, then please come and talk to us. And if you like, we can even build a module together. And that's it. Thank you for the attention.